Welcome to Tourisme channel. Please, like, share and subscribe. The Batakulo's handwoven textile. For the Batak ethnic group of Lake Toba in North Sumatra, as indeed with other communities in Indonesia, their meticulously handwoven textiles, known as yulos are not merely made to wear as clothing, but are significant symbols of status, serve as precious heirlooms, or are ceremonial gifts during rites in human's life cycle from births and weddings to deaths. Traditionally, weaving was the task of women only, and men were prohibited from the work, since it is believed that while weaving, women imbue the cloth with symbolic values connected with women's role in caring for family, children, and the community. Whilst men's duty is the protection of family and village. Therefore weaving can be done only during leisure time while women tend to home and children. It is small wonder, then, that one cloth may take months to complete. Batak textiles use mostly cotton yarn, while colors are produced by immersing the yarn in plant dye. The blue color comes from the indigo plant, red is made from sapanwood and marinda which grow abundantly in the tropics. Yellow comes from turmeric, whereas black is produced by mixing marinda with indigo, and green is a mix of indigo and turmeric. Textiles are woven on backstrap or body tension looms, where tension is created by the weight of the seated weaver who leans against the backstrap. That is the reason why this type of handwoven cloths can only be made as wide as the arm span of the weaver. With modernization, the ATBM, Ala Tenunbuken Mezen, or the non-mechanized upright loom was introduced. Cotton yarn is now also bought rather than made personally, and more synthetic colorings are used, purchased in stores to make the cheaper versions for use in modern designer dresses or for sale to tourists. Among the different kinds of yulos, the yulo sibilang is the one most commonly used. This is the blue yulos with light blue patterns with arrowhead patterns. This yulos is used as sarong or shoulder shawl, known as selendang. The yulos ragi hotang or the spotted rattan cloth is used at weddings when the yulos is draped around both bride and groom's shoulders with wishes that, like the rattan, the marriage will be long-lasting with strong conjugal bonds. The yulos ragi hotang is also used at the birth of a baby boy. This yulos has usually a particularly beautifully designed broad edge, finished off with tassels. The yulos ragi hijab, or the pattern of life, on the other hand, is one that can be worn only by men or by their widows in special ceremonies. This beautiful yulos consists of a main red field, or batten, with two white strips of finely decorated pieces at top and bottom ends. Two red side strips are then sewn onto the entire piece, making this a large yulos. Today, around Lake Toba it is not easy to find women weaving in front of their houses. But, truly traditional yulos cloths are still made in the three villages of Tonging, Puropo and Silalahi, known as Saitaluhuda, three villages, on the northwestern shore of Lake Toba. However, trading areas are at Pematang Syantar or at Balaj. You can also easily find a large number of yulos sold in souvenir shops or handicraft stalls in Tamak or Tudak. Therefore, when buying an yulos do feel the texture of the material. If this is too supple and smooth, then it is likely machine made with synthetic dyes, whereas the original handwoven pieces feel rougher to the touch. Of course the original handwoven yulos pieces do not come cheap.